what should be some of the New Year's resolutions Miami should have? Now, right off the bat, it's a cold front. And I think Miami should have a little more cold fronts coming around. I don't mind it. A lot of people on social media are complaining about that. It's, you know, it's hitting 40, 50 degrees here. Miami feels like a completely different city now. It's like multiverse Miami. The way this place has frozen. And it was almost overnight. One day it was humid, rain, and then the next day, bam, 50 degree weather. And according to something I read online, which, which must be true, it hasn't been this cold in Miami for about 30 years. Incredible. My heater looked like it was confused. It was like, we've never done this. I, <laughs> the, the, temp, the thermostat here in my home did not know what to do when I was bringing up the heater. It was like confused. It didn't turn on a couple of seconds later. It was like, oh, that's right. We can go. We can do this. <laughs> All right. So the cold front in Miami is definitely something I would like to see as a New Year's resolutions for the city. Let's do more cold fronts. There's a lot more fun out there. You know, people are drinking now. People are getting warmed up with their finest cocktails. And you know, Miami is full of that stuff. Here's a couple of New Year's resolutions for the Miami nightlife. How about not staying out so late at club space until the sun comes up? <laughs> How about people just being a little more responsible on the weekends, not, not partying so hard? You guys aren't going to do that. How about making bottles more affordable? Or maybe even putting bottles on layaway. That's a great idea. Hey, nightclubs, I got an idea for you. For your news resolutions, how about allowing people to put bottles on layaway? Maybe you don't have the money that same night, but you want to party. So, And besides, look, you're really drunk. Okay, think about the kind of business that would bring. If you could put a whole bottle on layaway, like you could buy a $10,000 bottle and be like, you know what? My 401k, I've got that. All right, so I'm just going to cash that out, and I'm just going to pay it in installments because tonight I'm lit. There you go. Problem solved. Everybody's happy. You make a bad decision, but that's what Miami's all about, the nightlife and the business of it. There you go. Win-win for everybody. Miami, as a New Year's resolution, put your, put your bottles on layaway. I, I got a New Year's resolution for Brickell. How about if you own a scooter, you don't take a parking spot? I'm just saying. The scooter drivers over in Brickle, they, uh, I don't know, they're the kings of the road. And then what's funny is, like, if they're swerving in and out of traffic and then you almost hit them, they get mad at you. That's the funniest thing. Like, one time, somebody in a scooter was giving me road rage. It's like, buddy, you're the one on two wheels. Like, you're, you have the most fragile vehicle here. I have doors and they are locked. You're out in the open, buddy. <laughs> Here's a new one. If you're in Miami and you have a scooter and it doesn't go past 40 miles an hour, how about not going on the expressway? That's a good New Year's resolution. That's fair. That's beneficial. Here's another New Year's resolution for Miami. I go to Brickell all the time, and I love seeing uh, women getting really confident and choosing sugar daddies as their, um, as their relationship. I'm glad. I'm glad Miami's embracing that. That's a really cool thing to see. You know, back in the day, you know, sugar daddy was something you make fun of, and, oh, my God, I can't believe she's with him because of his money. Here in Miami, it's like, yeah, that's what we do around here. It's called choosing the right mate. So I believe a New Year's resolution that Miami should go through is uh, how about saving up to being that sugar daddy you've always wanted to be? If you're in your 30s, you got a good 20 years to save up. Start saving up. One day, I'm going to find someone special in my 50s or 60s. That's a great New Year's resolution right there. For the people of Miami, especially the men, start saving up. Maybe even budgeting when you go out to drink and brickle. Maybe having like a $50 limit. On how much uh, alcohol you drink. I mean, that's probably like two drinks, really. You probably won't be able to drink too much for $50, but at least you don't drink a lot. This you could be in, in better shape. You have two cocktails, $50 without the tip. But you know what? At least you were close enough. And then that way you drive home safe. You didn't drink too much. And then the next morning you wake up and you look at your bank account and you're feeling better. And then you just carry it on. You do it the next night and the following night and the night after. You're going to be like, you know what? I'm doing very good uh, decisions in my life. And then you get that confidence in you. And then you go out in the nightlife, you start talking to women, you start saying, you know what, I'm saving up for somebody like you 50 years from now. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a pickup line in the city of Miami. I'm saving up to cash it out for someone like you. You look like the kind of girl I would cash my 401k out to. <laughs> and you keep a tab. That's what you do. You start saving up and you keep a tab on all the things you've saved. So when you're 50 and or 60, what you do is you carry it around like a little breast pocket notebook, and then you just start showing it to girls that you meet when you're old. Be like, look at all these years of saving up I've done. So you put on your little reading glasses and then you just bring out your little notebook. It's like, I've invested in Bitcoin. I've got a 401k. I've got a nice luxury car parked outside. No one else is on the title but me. Um, I have a real estate investments. Uh, no one else on the title on that as, as well. Uh, looking for someone to put that on. Uh, don't have the yacht yet. <laughs> but I'm working on it. I'm speaking with someone over in uh, Miami Beach to get myself a yacht. And then right there, bam, 
Oh my God, you're the man I've been looking for my whole life. Coral Gables. What should be some New Year's resolutions for Coral Gables? I like Coral Gables a lot. Here's the thing. Miracle Mile, like that street, very underrated. It's got some of the best shopping stores I've seen. Like the plaza there is so nice, but the parking is like awful. I think we should expand Miracle Mile a bit more to make it all inclusive to people that are, you know, that are visiting. Like do things like starting a nightlife in, Coral, in Miracle Mile. Like Miracle Mile has nightlife, but it's like the kind of nightlife where you, got, where you go home on a curfew. Like whoever goes to party in uh, Coral Gables, they're in bed before 10. Why does the party always only happen in Miami Beach or in Brickell? Do it in Coral Gables too. Bring some party options there. So what if it's noise pollution? Miami's full. We need to expand. We need a party in Coral Gables. And we need more parking in Coral Gables. That's a great news resolutions. I'm sick and tired of driving by Miracle Mile and seeing cool things like artisan steakhouses, ice cream shops, boba tea. Like I saw a really cool boba tea place in Miracle Mile the other night. And I was like, that's crazy. I want to try that. Oh, but I can't park anywhere, so I can't go. Right? Here's another great New Year's resolutions. How about supporting your local teams, Miami? That's a great New Year's resolutions. Support your local teams. Whenever the Dolphins lose, rather than complaining about it on social media, why don't you say they tried their best? This is my team, and I support them even when they lose. Because we only like the Dolphins when they win. Remember when the Heat won? Uh, what, is the, what, is the, what do they win? The World Series? <laughs> When the heat won, people were out in the streets, pots and pans, everybody celebrating. Why don't you do that for just a simple win? Why is it only got to be when they win the championship? Here's another one. Why don't you go to a, one Marlins game a month, Miami, as your New Year's resolutions? Go out and support that baseball team. We gave them a whole stadium, and we, <laughs> we do not want to go see the Marlins. The Marlins has, tr has tried so hard to go out there and play and bring baseball to our city, and we don't go. Myself included, but you know, whatever. I'm talking about you, Miami. This isn't about me. This is about you. Go on and support the Marlins, man. What's the name of the, the Marlins guy? The little, the little Marlin swordfish? He goes running around, you know, messing with people, slapping drinks off your hand. He's, he's doing everything he can to make Miami feel proud of having a baseball team. Go out and go to one Marlins game a month as your news resolutions. I'm just saying.